In this video, we are going to see how to generate a JKS file using Java key tools and OpenSSL. This video is a continuation of video series called Visual Authentication. If you haven't watched the previous video about introduction on it, I will leave the video's link in the description box below for your reference. Let's get started with creating those required JKS files. So right now I have the key tools installed because I have the Java installed. Let's check the version of Java that I have right now. So if I just type in key tool, it should show the uh, help page for it. So it's installed. First, we will look into how to create a, a trust using a client and just the server. Then we will look into using a CA and uh, we will just take a look at the disadvantages and advantages in each, each of it. Let me copy this thing, clear this out. Let me paste it in here. If you see here, we, we are using the key tool file and like, you know, we are trying to generate and the alias is a key entry in here. So typical key store file has the entries as key alias. We are naming it as Surya server and it, you can name it as like whatever you want and the key store file that we are going to generate is the server key store if we take a look at this one so this is what we are going to generate right now and uh, the store type is going to be jks and the password is key pass is going to be the password for this alias which is like the this key entry and store pass is going to be the password for the entire key store so if you see in this one like you know you will have a list of entries within this J jks file which we can see after generating this thing there are different ways to generate it uh, but for the demonstration purpose most of us might be using the command line tool at work so it will be easy for us to use um, so the store pass is the uh, jks file store pass and the key algorithm is an rsc rsc algorithm it uses private key and the public key for encryption purpose we are just gonna tell the uh, the store type as pkcs12 uh, so in a world world java like you know we would use it as jk Yes, but right now it's a proprietary so we uh, we are trying to move uh, to pkcs as much as possible since that's the general standard that we have right now so it's just gonna ask for the first name and last name so server and the organization as surya r d city buffalo status new york and the country as USA and everything looks good and then let's hit enter Y. Now if we take a look at the exercise folder where we have this, we see this key store file. So this is an open source tool wherein we can use to generate file or, or write, view those file. Like no one's that's generated so we have this file in here. Let me pull this in here. So it's gonna ask the password. So the password that it is asking right here is this password which is the key store. This is the key store that we generated. Right, if you take a look at the file type, it's just gonna show you that it's a JKS file, right? And uh, the password is password. Since we have the password as like password for both key pass and key store pass, then it, it doesn't matter. So we just have to enter password. So we are gonna use password across the whole video. I mean, the keyword password is like the password. This talks about key pair entry. So if you see here, like, you know, it says key uh, key pair entry. But this is the this is the name of the alias that we gave, right? So this is the name of the alias. So if we look into it since it's rsa it's gonna provide us a private key and the public key to view the public key you do not need a password wherein like you know if you have to view the private key and you have to enter the key pass in here so which is password it's gonna show the key password right and you also see that there is a certificate in here so if we look at it so it's gonna show whatever we entered in in, in here right so that that's that's what is in here it's it's gonna have a validity as well right now it's it's been defaulted since I haven't provided any days in here uh, so it's been defaulted for three months like based on your scenario you can you know add as much as you could now we have successfully generated servers jks key store file now we can go ahead and create the client jks key store file so I have copied it in here and then pasted it in here if you see this it's gonna be the same i'm just gonna call this as surya client and the password is same and the destination uh, sorry key store type is gonna be pks12 so here I'm just going to use the same convention that I gave last time. Right. 
now it would have created a, a, a key store file now what we need is so if, if we go back so we have these two ready right now so it's just matter of like we need to create these two things right so what the server trustor would have is the certificate and the public key of the client is what we would have to store in this particular jks file to do that firstly we will try to extract the key store from the server this is the command if you see here like you now we are going to export the cert from the server key store and it's going to be saved into the file called server dot sir we have to provide the password for the key store oops uh there was a mistake in here uh, so it's, it's alias not found is because uh, if you see here so we had it as surya server this is the alias which is called the entry name so it said i had a space in here so it said alias does not exist if we take a look at the exercise folder now we should see three files the next part is we would uh, do the same for the client so now we got the client in here so now we see the four files that that got generated we will have to create these trust stores right so these two ones so that's what we are gonna do next so if you see here so we are gonna import the cert the client cert into the server so if you see here like this is the trust store that we are gonna generate but we are gonna import the client cert into the server trust store which means the server trust store is gonna have the client's uh, public key certificate let's do that and that's gonna ask yes and similarly we need to do for the client so if you see here like you now we just need to import the server's certificate into the client right so say yes and now if we go look back in here we can see that we have got the client key store client trust store client server key store and servers trust store generated so if you look at here we have got all of these generated now we have successfully created a client trust store and the server trust store and we are going to exchange it right the main disadvantage about it is say if multiple clients are going to talk to the same server then it becomes cumbersome because for each uh, for each new client the server has to add a trust store in, in it so it might need a restart in some cases so to avoid that what we are going to do is we are gonna introduce something called as certificate authority we will create a certificate authority and we will use that as a trust store instead of a server's trust store or the client's trust store that's what we are gonna see next so to create the required files which is the jks there is a two-step process first step would be to create the pump files using OpenSSL, and the second step would be to convert those pump files into the jks file so we can clearly import uh, the pump files directly but for this demonstration purpose we will create the pump files and then we will convert to jks so that the one that we created earlier and this can be imported and can be compared have opened a git bash for this exercise so firstly to create the pump file that has three steps in it the first step is to create the certificate authority and the second step is to create the certificates for the server and the third step is to create the certificate for the client so in the first step we will create the certificates for the certificate authority first we will create the private key and then the public cert so this command is going to create a file called ca key pem this would contain the private key so it has generated the private key now let's go ahead and uh, generate the public key certificate using that private key if you see here this is the private key that we generated in the previous step and we are going to create this uh, ca cert dot pem so currently it's going to ask for ldap names so here we are going to give us state as new york city as buffalo organization name as surya r and d organization unit as surya ca r and d common name as so this is not required so i will skip it and this is also not required i will skip it so the next step is to create the server certificates which is the server private key but in this case instead of directly creating the server certificate what we will do is we will create a certificate signing request which we will send it to the certificate authority and the certificate authority will kind of sign it and then will send it back to us and right that's what the scenario that we are gonna mimic to do that i'm gonna create the private private key for the server 
so this would this has created the private key now we are gonna create the certificate signing request so if you see here we are gonna use the same private key that we created here and then the out of it would be the server csr so which is the certificate signing request which we would be sending it to ca so since we are the ca here uh, since we are local host in it we would act as a ca and we will sign the csr in the next step so if you see here, so it's going to ask me for the country names, CSNY, uh, Buffalo, Surya Randy. I will use the same naming convention, but with slight changes. Common name, I will leave it. I will leave it. Password challenge company name so now we have created a csr the next step is uh, to create the server certificate right we are going to use the certificate authorities public key and, and the private key to actually do this and also we would need uh, the domain name the alternate name for uh, the server so to do that we are gonna create server text file not see enough we will create a configuration file and uh, now we can execute the command to generate the server certificate so if you see here it's going to be x509 file format uh, here is the server csr that we created earlier and we are going to use the csr and the ca key which is the private key what we are going to do is we are going to create the server certificate right so so if you see here we have created a file in here and uh, that's the file that we need to pass in this is the configuration file there are a lot of configuration uh, elements that we can add to it i will leave in the description box below for to explore but uh, currently i have just used a domain name so let me create this it should have created uh, the server certificate right now so the next step is to do the same for the client so i'm gonna create the client key so this is the client csr request as we did for the server so it's gonna ask country name new york locality buffalo operation name sorry rnd organization unit So now it uh, could have, it would have created a client uh, CSR. Similar to what we did for the server, we need to create a client extension file dot configuration in which we will copy this. This is uh, for the client, it's not generally required because uh, we are not gonna validate the client. We are just gonna validate the server. So this step we can probably skip, but for this demonstration purpose, I'm just adding it. The next step is to use the certificate signing records that we created in the previous step and to create client certificate. So to do that, you see here, we are gonna use the client CSR. Uh, as we did for the server, we are gonna use the same uh, certificate authority cert and certificate authority key. And this is how the client cert.pem. And we are gonna use this extension file that we just created right now with the, the domain name you can also use ip if there is also an option to use comma separated values in case if we are using multiple domains right right now we are using a uh, star dot uh, surya server dot com star takes uh, any value right so that's what we did here right now we have created the server certificate and the client certificate what we need to do is uh, we need to convert these certificates that we created into jks file for the next video this is the first step for for converting the certificate we are going to move the ca certificate server certificate and the server key to something called as server combined and now we will create this server cert this would become the alias uh, so we would create the server cert dot p12 so password would be password type in it again next step is to convert p12 file that we created into the server key store if you look here this is what the next step is so now we are going to create the actual jks file so it's going to prompt me for the password again again right so it, it has added the entry which is surya server as, as we did kind of same name in generating the jks file using key tools so now uh, since we have created uh, the key store for server now it's the time to create a key store for the client so we are going to do the same so csr client cert and then client key and then we are going to call it as client combine.pem the next step is the same so we are gonna throw out the p12 file and we are gonna call name as surya client alias so this is gonna be alias in the key store so 
So the next step is to create the key store out of this p2l file. If you see here, uh, so this would be this would become our client key store file. Now is the last step. We just need to import uh, the CA certificate into the trust store, which could be shared between server and the client. To do that, we need to convert the CA cert to pum to CA cert. Now we would import those files as mentioned. So if you see here, like, you know, we are going to create the server test store and out of CSRT that we made here, this is going to be the Surya client. And then we are just going to name it as trust store. Now it's added to the key store, meaning like this is going to be the trust store. Now we have to create the client uh, trust store. It's practically the same, but just to be in sync with the previous step, I'm just creating two different uh, stores. So if we, if we use the same key store, Key, key explorer and uh, explore that server trust store and we are gonna ask for the password if you see the trust store just contains the certificate and if you take a look at the certificate now it's gonna say that this is the ca certificate right the subject is c and the issuer is ca right and uh, if you go check the client trust store in here it's it's gonna be the same right so it's uh, ca and it's it's issued to the same person so now if we just look at the client key store we should see uh, the chain we see here like you know we could see the chain so the client and it's been trusted by ca and it's gonna use this key uh, and it's gonna use the trust store which is gonna be the same right so surya c a r and d so it's gonna it's gonna have a handshake based on that so and if we look at the extension we would see that star dot surya dot surya-client.com but we don't know how to worry about that because like it's only concerned for the server so let's take a look at the server as well once so if we look at the server's uh, key pair extension it, it should show so we have created uh, the client key store and the client trust store and the uh, server key store and the server trust store as we have successfully created these JKS files, the next step is to wire them into the Spring Boot application and see how the mutual authentication is going to work. We will look at the detail in the next video. Thanks for watching and that's it for this video.